Okay, hello softballers. This is a swing analysis of a female softball player, and I want you to check out how her swing looks and what we want to try to look like and some things that we might want to avoid. First thing I'd like you to notice is her, how wide her stance is. Her feet are much wider than her shoulders. She's got a great solid base, and uh, it's a good athletic position. Her knees are bent. And uh, that's a good, that's a good uh, stance right there. One thing you'll notice is that uh, her bat is not in the slot. This is not where I'd like to see her bat. And this is not where I'd like to see your bat either. Her hands are right here in front of her chest, and the bat is not in the slot. So this is not where we'd like to start. However, having said that, she hasn't really gotten into foot plant yet. This is her basic stance, and she is waiting for the pitcher to make a move. And so if we move this forward a few more frames, you see she goes into uh, a knee lift. Um, some, some batters uh, do a knee lift and then come out to foot plant. Some, some batters, uh, let's see if I can back her up a little bit. Back her up a little bit here. So some batters will just kind of bring one, bring the front knee back to the back knee before striding out. Other batters will take their front foot and touch it to the back foot before striding out. She's the type that likes to uh, lift that front knee up and then stride out. Any of those ways are fine with me. Uh, it's really just kind of a timing mechanism for you. And uh, I think uh, the knee knock is a little bit more comfortable, but I think everybody's different, and you should decide for yourself what feels best for you. So you'll see she goes into uh, a bit of a knee knock, and as she does, her hands are beginning to move back towards her back shoulder. Now she's striding out. Notice how her hands are moving back even further. One thing I'd like to point out, though, is that her hands are still a little bit further away from her body than we'd like to see. There's too much gap in here between her shoulder and her hands. We'd like those to be a little bit closer to her shoulder, and we'd like to see that bat more in the slot with the knob of the bat pointing back towards the catcher. So if we move forward just a little bit further, now you see this is where she puts, gets into a foot plant. This is where she first plants her foot. And at this point, she's beginning to get that bat in the slot. Although her hands are a little bit further away from her body than what we'd like to see. Right? Way out here. So we'd like to see her hands a little bit closer to her shoulder. And by doing that, that's going to move the bat. That's going to move her bat in more in the slot where we'd like to see it. What that does is that creates a little more torque for you as you rotate around and uh, make contact with the ball. But she's approximating the bat in the slot here at this uh, time. And uh, she's got her foot plant. And as we move forward from there, you'll see that she starts her rotational swing. Right, she's going to rotate about this axis right here. You're going to see that she doesn't really move forward of that axis. Her body is not moving uh, forward. Let's see if I can draw a line here. Her body is not going to move forward. It's going to stay and rotate about that axis. So we'll see that in just a minute here. So if we draw this axis back on, oops, we put this axis that she rotates on back in the frame here. I want you to notice how still, how quiet she keeps her head. Coaches will say, keep your head quiet, keep your hands quiet, keep your feet quiet. What that means is no movement. 
Don't be moving around too much. Try to stay still, stay quiet. Watch her head now as she begins her rotational swing. You'll notice that her hips begin the swing. Her hips are beginning to open up, and this is uncoiling that rotation, that, that energy that's built up in the core. So as we move forward, her hips are uh, beginning the swing. She's keeping that back close to her close to her body. You'll notice that her head really isn't moving. It's staying put. It's not moving forward to this line. You'll notice good uh, good bent bent arms, bent front arm. Back arm is up against the body and punching through. And the bat is lagging behind. So if we move forward a little bit further to where she makes contact. Now she's making contact. It's hard to see her bat right here. But she's starting to make contact right here out in front of her front foot. Maybe not quite that far. Let's back that up. Right over here. That's a good place to be making contact. Notice her front leg is beginning to straighten out upon contact. Now she's extending her arms and the wrists roll over. What I want you to see is a great power angle. Now she's kind of, uh, you'll notice that her head has kind of moved out of that circle. So her head has started to move there right at contact. And I'd like to see her head stay in that circle. She's kind of leaning back a little bit too far. But you do see a nice power angle here uh, in that line that goes from her, her foot, her front foot, all the way up to her head. This is where, we, this is a the type of, uh, of uh, angle we'd like to see it in the swing upon contact and extension. So this is what we're going to try and look like as we make contact. So if we back her up just a little bit here. Let's see, back her up. To contact. What I want you to notice is that now her eyes coming right down towards the ball. This is shoulder to shoulder uh, eye contact and this is what we'd like to see you make. So compare this with Robinson Cano and I think that uh, you're going to have a good swing and we're going to have a good year. We'll see you at practice.